Well, cut down day has officially begun, and uh, I was just flipping through and looking at all the different things, and uh, lo and behold, one of the first cuts they made was Mr. Anders Carlson. So we might as well talk about it. I mean, we, we've covered it pretty extensively. I don't know that I have anything else to really say on it. Um, obviously, early on, I had said that there's no real competition. They're going to continue to work with Anders. They're not going to give up on them. Um, as of the last several weeks, I had added in the caveat that the exception to that rule is if they actually believe that they've done everything they can and there's nowhere else to go with honors. Um, now look, there, there is a possibility that they are going to cut all kickers, right? Similar to what they did with Long Snapper and then bring back a kicker and an option could be Anders Carlson. Um, that's not the most likely scenario at this point, but... Um, as of right now, Anders Carlson has been released. Apparently, the Packers had gotten to the point, seemingly, again, we'll see how it goes, um, to where they just felt there's there's nothing left. They're, they're, we don't think we can fix them. We don't think we can uh, do all these things. So, um, you know, I, obviously a lot of people celebrating right now. I understand this is what fans do when they get frustrated with a player that isn't going well. I, I think from my perspective, though, this doesn't fix anything. This is not addition by subtraction. This is just subtraction. Um, I don't know where the addition comes from. Greg Joseph is not a better kicker than what we saw from Anders Carlson. I'm not really aware of any other kickers that are um, better than Anders. I suppose you could find probably several people that have a better extra point percentage, uh, which I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't make rational sense to me to be like, yeah, but he struggles with extra points. Like, no, that had to have just been like a weird, fluky thing. It doesn't make sense. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's gone, so it doesn't matter. I don't need to try to figure it out. Um, so we'll see. I, th there's a lot of speculation at this point. It's relatively early. Um, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, not a fan favorite, Anders Carlson. I think whoever ends up being our kicker, I have a feeling, is going to be the new not-a-fan favorite because I don't know that it's going to go very well. Um, presumably, as of right now, Greg Joseph will be the, the kicker for the team, um, but we'll see. We'll see if he ends up getting cut as well, um, and then it's a matter of, are one of these guys coming back eventually? Um, kind of like with Long Snapper last year, maybe after the uh, cut-down period they'll kind of root around see who got cut and then bring somebody back which could be one of these guys um or what i don't know i don't know but uh right now greg joseph is our kicker Anders carlson apparently very and, and, and that's the thing that surprised me i understand sometimes you let guys go because you feel it's run its course one of the other guys we're going to talk about samori turi i think is the same thing Right, we kind of know what he is. We've put as much into this guy as we can. We see that there's really no more growth here. He's kind of peaked, and that peak is well below like our top seven guys or something. It's it's you know, now I shouldn't say well below, but he's probably you know like eight ish, and I don't see him really climbing beyond that. Plus, we're going to continue to add throughout the years, so the experiment has run its course. And but but he's been here longer, right? You figure after two years, three years, that's when you kind of say, especially for a draft pick. Um, so it, it must have been a, a high level of frustration with uh, Andres Carlson for it to get to this point. So Andres Carlson released was one of the first moves of the day. 